If you're looking into wearing contact lenses, there's a big decision that you and your doctor will make whether you're gonna be into daily contact lenses, a fresh contact every day, or a two week or monthly contact lens. And usually the top thing a patient considers is the price. Which one's gonna be more cost effective? But there are many other aspects to consider and that's what we're gonna talk about right now. Let's focus in. Dailies versus monthly contact lenses. Let's first talk about daily contact lenses, the pros and the cons. Probably the biggest benefit to wearing daily lenses is probably the most obvious and that is the health benefit. Now when you're wearing a daily contact lens, you're getting a fresh contact lens every day. So that means when you wear a contact lens, you get a lot of protein or lipid buildup onto the lenses or debris from wherever you're working or outside. That buildup just gets chucked with that contact lens and you get a fresh one the next day. And that's probably the biggest benefit is that the daily contact lenses can definitely be more comfortable on a day-to-day -day scale. And that's another big pro, comfort. Now usually daily contact lenses are thinner than monthly lenses. And so when you put it in your eye, your eyelids don't feel the edges that much. You don't feel them moving around the eye as much. And so overall comfort is usually better with thinner daily lenses. Which makes them an excellent starting type of contact lens. If it's the first time that you're wearing contact lenses, a lot of times I'll fit new patients, especially young patients, kids, teenagers, into daily lenses because they are easier to get used to the feeling of a contact lens in the eye. So it's easier to kind of jump into the contacts. They're safer, healthier for the eye. And so it's a really good starting lens. And another pro along those same lines with kids kids and teenagers, there are a lot less infections that we usually see with daily contact lenses. Now when you're first starting out, you're dealing with the contact lens, you're learning how to put it in, take it out, you're touching your eyelids a lot more, and so there's a lot more contact from your hands to your eyes, more chance of an infection, and with kids and teenagers, who knows what's going on, and so usually daily lenses are safer less chance of an infection. And with the daily contact lenses, there is less care that needs to be taken than monthly contact lenses. There's still care. You still wanna wash your hands and treat them right, but you don't have to worry about cleaning the lenses and storing them in a case like you do with monthly contact lenses. So there's still less chance of an infection there. And this brings up the next pro, daily contact lenses are definitely more convenient. Less care, so you don't have to clean them every night and store them in a case. You don't have to deal with contact lens solutions. They're definitely more convenient, especially if you are an occasional contact lens wearer. You just wear them for sports or skiing. You can just put them in, wear them for that day, and then go right back to glasses. So definitely a convenience factor to consider with daily contacts. One other pro to daily lenses is usually people tend not to overwear their daily contact lenses. It's easier to remember hey, I just take this out, I chuck it, I get a fresh contact every day. Another possible pro is sometimes daily contacts can be better for those that suffer from dry eyes, dry eye syndrome, but this can be a mixed bag. I find a lot of patients that actually do better with monthly contact lenses. There are some monthly lenses that can retain moisture a little bit better, but definitely a lot of people do do better with daily contact lenses, so that is something to consider as far as when you're looking into contact lenses. Now, if you wanna get into the studies and technicalities of daily lenses and dry eyes, studies have shown that with daily lenses, there is less ocular surface disruption, so less micro scratches and rubbing onto the surface of the contact lens, and then less pro-inflammatory cytokines. And this all can lead to tear breakup time, being reduced, meaning that your tears are evaporating more, the tear film is a little bit less stable. It also can lead to more of an ocular surface disease or a dry eye disease. And so there are studies that show that daily lenses can be more beneficial to the ocular surface and more beneficial regarding dry eyes. Now the cons of daily contact lenses, there are definitely some cons here. Number one, is the cost and this is where a lot of patients do want to know about this is like the number one thing they want to know about is hey what's going to be the extra cost of daily lenses and daily contact lenses 
typically are more expensive than monthly contact lenses. Now, there are a few things to consider here. There are a few contact lens daily brands out there that really aren't that much more expensive. In my mind, they are worth the extra cost for the added benefits that you get. But also, one thing to consider is with monthly contact lenses, you are buying contact lens solutions and cases. And so, add that into the cost. But there are some daily lenses that are awesome that patients love and they're premium contact lenses premium daily contact lenses that can be pricey and so that is definitely something to consider another con that's associated with a pro is that they're really thin now that's a pro but they're thin and flimsy which can be a con sometimes they're tricky or trickier to handle especially when you're first learning how to put contacts in they can be more flimsy and fold on your finger and you're trying to put it in your eye and your eyelash one eyelash will touch the contact and fold the contact over so it doesn't get in your eye and so there's more of a learning curve because they're more flimsy difficult to handle now there are some daily contact lenses out there that are a little bit more firm. They hold their shape a little bit better. And so those contacts are great, especially for first time wearers, because it takes out of the equation the flimsiness of daily contacts, but you still get the benefit of a thin contact feeling in your eye. We definitely should talk about prescription availability. There is less available prescriptions in daily contact lenses. So if you are someone that has a higher prescription, maybe higher astigmatism or oblique astigmatism, then your contact lens or your prescription might not be available in a daily contact lens versus a monthly contact lens. Monthly lenses usually have a lot more availability and variety. Now that gap is closing though. There are a lot more daily lenses coming to the market, a lot more astigmatism, daily lenses coming out, multifocal daily lenses coming out. And so that gap is closing, but still there is a lot more availability on the monthly lens side. Now let's talk about monthly contact lenses. And one of the pros, like I said, the cost of monthly lenses can be better versus a daily contact lens. There are a lot of different monthly contact lens brands out there, a lots of different prescriptions, and they've been out for a while, and usually the price of a monthly lens, mainly due to a manufacturing process and limitations of the daily lenses, but monthly lenses can be more costly effective, so more affordable if you're getting into contacts. And like I said before, do take into account the contact lens solution cost to take care of your monthly contacts. Another pro, monthly contacts are easier to handle. They hold their form a little bit better, so they're not as flimsy, they won't fold as easy on your finger, uh, sometimes easier to get in, so definitely easier to handle, and they're more durable because they're thicker, they're more durable, less chance of, of ripping uh, or chipping or tearing the contact lens, even though that still happens. Now, one other con that a lot of people don't think about is if you happen to rip your monthly contact lens, and that happens, you'll rip it or you're te you'll tear it and get a chunk out of it, and so you just can't wear that contact because it's too irritating or it's in two pieces, and so you are just out that contact. If you're on the second day of wearing a contact lens into your month and then you have to chuck it, then you, you're pretty much out a month of a contact lens. And so that can cost a little bit more. Each monthly lens costs more than one daily lens. So if you happen to rip a daily lens, then you're only out that one day. And so that's something to consider. If you are someone that tends to rip or you're aggressive with the contacts and for some reason, your eye likes to just tear up contact lenses. Uh, yeah, you might burn through monthly contacts a lot faster and might not work out to your benefit, whereas dailies, you're out a day or two days and you just go on to the next contact. Now, another pro, and I just said this pro for daily lenses, is sometimes they can work better for dry eyes. Sometimes they're designed to hold moisture a little bit better in that thicker contact lens, and so it doesn't dry out as much. And so it definitely depends on the person, the patient, and the contact lens brand, and the type of dry eyes they have, and so there's some variability there, but that is, or could be, a pro to a monthly lens. And a con for monthly lenses is people tend to overwear 
their monthly contact lenses more than daily lenses. They tend to wear them past the two week or the monthly mark. They tend to sleep in their monthly contacts more than they do a daily lens. And so there is more of a hygiene factor and compliance to daily lenses versus monthly. Monthly lenses, there's a lot more temptation to overwear those contacts. A con is there's definitely more care that needs to be taken with the monthly lens. You need to make sure that you're cleaning them properly with the proper solution. You're storing them properly in the case. And I have uh, videos about that. I'll put the link in the description on how to clean them and what solution is the best as well. A con is that they are thicker and so usually you will fill them a little bit more in the eye. Now, usually people get used to that feeling, but when you're starting out, that thicker contact lens could feel a little bit more. You'll feel the edges a little bit more of that thicker contact lens. And so it can be a little bit more irritating and annoying. And probably the biggest con is because you're wearing the same contact lens from day to day for a month or two weeks, that any debris that you get on there that you can't properly clean off, it gets carried over into the next day. So meaning you are putting that same dirty contact with proteins, debris, lipids back into your eye and your eye has to deal with everything that's on the surface of that contact lens. And so your eyelids are rubbing over it, your tear film is having to work with it as well. And on top of that, it's depositing more debris, more proteins and lipids on it that gets carried over into the next day. And so that's the biggest thing, biggest con to monthly lenses. After that two week period or that month period, people feel it. People say, wow, I can feel, I can definitely tell that this contact is ready to be tossed or changed out because it just carries over the debris from the previous day. And a con along those same lines is that you can definitely develop more infections. You're more at risk of developing an infection with monthly lenses because you have that debris and buildup on the lens. There's more contact involved, especially when you're first learning out. Then you're at more risk to getting infections, a conjunctivitis or ulcers on the cornea. Usually with corneal ulcers, which can be pretty painful, and infection, especially bacterial ulcers, can be kind of scary. I usually see those with monthly lenses and usually people that overwear their monthly lenses. I usually rarely see them with daily contact lenses. So as you can see, there are a lot of different things to consider when you're talking about dailies versus monthly or two-week contact lenses. Now, I usually recommend daily contact lenses to my patients, especially if it's their first time. It's easier to get used to. Pros usually outweigh the cons. There's more pros to daily lenses than monthly lenses, but I don't shy away from monthly lenses either. There are a lot of patients that love monthly contacts that actually do better in monthly contacts. And so both are great options. Each have their pros and cons, and it depends on the patient and their specific needs. And so it's definitely something to talk about with your doctor and not just consider the cost of the contact lenses. And if you are new to contact lenses, check out this playlist I have, how to put them in, take them out, clean them, best solutions, and other videos about contact lenses. I have it all right here. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.